right, we are frantically trying to get all our stuff together in these blue strips. Scratching it, it's probably gonna be some person that's like, why the heck are you doing that? But we'll fix it eventually. Man, I can't even remember what I said last. I should have looked. Got that stain and sealed. Got my shelf hung. 8 11 now. We just ate some dinner. We got stuff everywhere. Emily's back from Haber. So I'm start putting stuff in the camper. Guys, it's the morning of. We're packing up. Our dogs are freaking out. And they're whining and stuff. Because usually, usually when we do this, we're going like on some sort of camping trip or something. So they know we're leaving. They usually don't get to go. But it's time you get to go, big fella. I like some. It's like a big moment. I'm pulling off my UCA parking sticker here. So I look like some college punk driving down the road. But it's kind of, kind of bittersweet. We were pulling off from the house with the camper. Got Bruce, Emily's in the Jeep. It's freaking crazy. Even an hour in, but we have a beautiful view. There's Lake Darnell, the Arkansas River back there. So the vent fan, or the, it's not the fan vent, it's just the vent, like little covers messed up. And uh, first two rules of like uh, anything in Arkansas are it's moving and it shouldn't, duct tape. And, it's not moving and it should, WD-40, so I'm just gonna duct tape it because I can't get into it from the inside for some reason without taking the whole light fixture down, so I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna put some duct tape on it so it won't flap up and rip off. All right, so we have made it um, a little past Russellville, which is about, I'd say like an hour from Conway, and Daniel called me and said that some vent was flapping in the air, so we were pulled over on the side of the interstate right now, and the only way we can figure out how to fix it right now is to duct tape it so we are doing that right now are you nervous baby <laughs> duct tape didn't work too wet so it's attached pretty good but it just sucks it's like up flapping like that I don't think it'll break off but which it kind of sucks but on the bright side, I get up on that ladder. Look how freaking beautiful it is here. It's cool stuff. We're at Love's truck stop, just uh, before, just outside of Oklahoma City. Right now we got some subway. I think there's 24 hour subways in every box. Don't call me on that, I'm not sure, but I think there is. There's a little tiny pig right over here. I might try and get a shot of it. Two more walls and drawers. <laughs> fell off in the camper, so I'll give me a shot of that here in a minute too, maybe. That's an easy fix. Yeah, well, it's the entertainment so far, unfortunately. Alright, this wall. You can see, that is supposed to be this blue thing here. This blue thing there. It's supposed to be doors that go on top of our drawer here, but as you can see, he just glued it. <laughs> The guy redid it, and there's no, uh, there's no screws, so I'll probably run a few screws in that bad boy when we get where we're gonna be. I brought a couple extra screws just in case, so I'll zip some of those in there, and hopefully that won't be a problem again. But it's getting colder. I don't know if I'm ready. Christmas Day at 60 degrees, and I was wearing, or the day after Christmas, so I was scrambling doing all the getting ready. It was like a yeah, it was like 60, 65, 70 degrees. I was wearing Chacos and shorts, and when we get to Breckenridge, the after tomorrow, it is gonna be down around zero. We are just outside of Oklahoma City. We got up about seven, and uh, we stayed in Cracker Barrel last night. You obviously saw that. Super nice. I was like, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about like sleeping in a parking lot, but it, it wasn't bad. Like, eventually I just went to sleep. I was a little weary at first. 1107, 29th still, and we're driving through the top. But we're actually still in Oklahoma. We're about to cr cross into Texas in the Texas Panhandle, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think we're just about to cross the border right now, and it's definitely feels like some like Texas, Oklahoma, rolling hill, cattle country. It's pretty cool, it's interesting to see. It's definitely a barren landscape for the most part. Great 
state of Texas. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to get to Breck. Or this, not Breck, the dunes. It says we're six hours and 42 minutes, so we got a lot more of this long, long, boring, boring country to cross through. But, uh, oh, you know what? If I open the sunroof. I really didn't do anything. Oh no, there's a little better light there. Alright. Got lots more driving. It says we're 6 hours and 42 minutes from the dunes. I don't think that factors in fuel stops. We're 430 miles away. Um, and uh, it's 11.15, so we didn't stop. We get there at 6 o'clock. We're going to have to make a couple stops. So, um, Excited. It's insane to like just look around out here. We're up in the Texas Panhandle and just see like I can see like I don't know how many miles that is, but it's gotta be a lot. Those windmills. Those have gotta be like ten miles away. You can just see it just as far as you can see in that direction. No hill, no buildings, just fly a wide open country, it's wild. Like I'm back home, we got a giant goose funnel going on. Look how windy it is. There's this little tiny pond, and it's just freaking white capping all out over that pond. Geese everywhere. All right, there's a car with their flashers, and I thought it was a cop. It was really the New Mexico sign. So we're in New Mexico. You can actually see those lights right there, but I missed the sign, but we we're on our way. Still beautiful. The sunset anyway, the rest of the landscape is, you know, is what it is. It says 10 degrees. So it's cold. We made it to Colorado, baby, but I we're in kind of a a wicked mountain pass at the moment, so it's super hard for me to operate this. Adios. Woo, this is like a dream come true for me. We're in this cool little park here in the snow in Colorado. And uh, it's pretty awesome, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna jump out and get on it. Emily's tired and cold, we need to get some heat cranking. And uh, I'll check back in. Holy cow, this state park is actually really awesome. We have an amazing, amazing campsite with what I'm thinking is going to be a beautiful view. So <laughs> in the morning, the stars outside are spectacular. It is cold though. We're definitely going to have to underpin the camper, get a heater going on underneath it and uh, figure out the heating, some serious heating arrangements. Um, but pretty happy so far. It is cold though, it's cold in here. But we just now parked like 10 minutes ago, so we're gonna give it a little time. Hey, it was cold last night. We did a good morning once it was like the middle of the night, the place finally kinda heated up, which it was nine degrees, we have no underpinning. We didn't have any time to let the place preheat before it got dark, none of that, so it was just it was just cold. How about that? Holy freaking cow. So it was dark when we got here last night. I could tell it was gonna be cool. I could feel we were high and like I could see that the city was down in a valley, but look at this. Oh boy, hitting a little four wheel drive action here. It's really not bad, we're gonna go super slow. This road's paved, so. Pressure that gun on like that, but we're in 4WD now. They're letting us know there's ice on the road.
Holy cow. This is great sand dunes. National Park area. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cold out here. It's like 16 degrees or something like that. And it's windy. The dunes are absolutely beautiful. Got the dogs all coated up. Mountains on the other side. Let's get a little better look. Holy cow, we are here at Tiger Run in Breckenridge. It's freaking amazing, surreal. We've got our camper set up. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, it's gonna get down super, super cold tonight. So we've got to uh, get that figured out tomorrow. We're gonna have to underpin the thing to make sure it's, or skirt it, whatever you wanna call it, to ensure that it stays warm. But this is amazing. It's like a dream come true. Emily, have been Emily and I have been talking about this for a couple years now. I'm gonna get after some more of this work that I get done. I'll check out Emily in there putting in some work. What's up guys? It's 9.33 in the morning. Friday, January 3rd, 2020. Laura's going to her second day at work. First day in a little uniform. Look at her. Look at her. Oh man. How about that? All right, in the meantime, I've got a whole, once I'm dropping her off, had some car trouble, so I can talk about that, actually. Got a whole plethora of stuff to do today. I'm gonna bring the camera along, do a little vlog. All right, Mark's going to work. I gotta get out of here, bus is gonna kill me. All right, I've been to Walmart. I'm at Lowe's right now, just got my stuff here. Got some Reflectix, some plumbing connections, an extension cord. So, you got all that. It's just so, it's amazing. Just look, look around here, how pretty everything is. I'm just say your lows, like mountains. It's so wild, I continue to be in awe about it. Um, but, I gotta go back. I gotta get my sewage dumped. I gotta get my water hooked up while it's hot during the day so I can get that flowing properly while it's warm and then Go check on the dogs, so let's get going. Holy cow, man, I've had quite the time to be honest, but I finally got the water running. But all kinds of freezing issues. Now I've just gotta get a, now I just gotta get my sewage dump, like my my black water and gray water at the bottom. They're frozen, um, so hopefully I can get that handled. But my gosh, it's freaking beautiful here. All right guys, dogs are loaded up, and gotta go get Emily from work. What up, gang? Hope y'all like my headlight. We got Emily from work. I had issues all day. I didn't even shoot any good B-roll, but I think I'm actually gonna put this video up. I might just string all these videos together and make one big long video. Not what I want. I want to knock out a banger pretty soon. Hopefully, like a really good video. But glad y'all came and watched. We're about to go take our trash, our laundry. Got a giant shit sickle trying to get it thawed. I've got a heater underneath it, heater in front of it, the ducted furnace heat going to it. Can't get it thawed, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get that done. We can get that done. I've got running water. We're having Jeep trouble, so hopefully I can get that fixed. I'm gonna go get a code reader tonight, try and work on that. We'll almost be set up. It's been a massive challenge. Emily and I have definitely already sat and like looked at each other I want to be like, oh my God, are we doing the right thing? Like, did we make a big mistake? But ultimately I think the answer is no, because every time I step outside it's so cool. And we're, we're, you know, periodically getting everything figured out, or little by little, so. It's coming together. It's definitely been tough, like there's no doubt about the, the toughness of it here and there. Negative 10 the first night, we could see our breaths in here. But little by little we got it skirted, got up some insulation. We've got some reflectix here we're gonna put up. That ought to give us a few more degrees of warmth. And we igloo it up around the insulation, or out around the underpinning insulation outside. We put snow around it to further insulate it. So we're getting there. We're finally getting there. We got running water now. 
getting there. We've almost got sewage. The dogs are comfortable. They are comfortable. We're sleeping good at night. The floor's warm. All right. I'll call it good on that, guys, and uh, I'll catch y'all soon.